Now, is My Hero Academia extremely overrated? Personally, I don't think that it is. Now, before you click off in a blind rage, just take a minute to hear me out. I don't think that My Hero is overrated because all the success that it's getting is for a good reason. But I will definitely say for certain that people overhype the fuck out of My Hero, bro. It's just so annoying when you, when you see all these bigger YouTubers just gas the smallest shit just so they could get fucking ad revenue. And it's one of the reasons why I hate the fucking My Hero community, despite being a part of it. Because it just feels like nobody is a real big fan of My Hero because no one ever wants to sit down and think about what's actually good about My Hero or actually try to look at the flaws in My Hero. It's just gassing whatever the fuck you see in terms of my hero if it has the words my hero on it it's automatically good and you think it's the second coming of fucking christ bro like i just can't stand all the f the the cancer bro the cancerous fan theories fucking all for one being midoriya's dad like where do you th this is literally head cannon where do you come up with this dumb shit bro like people just make the the dumbest shit and they try and compare it to these shitty Marvel movies, bro. Why? Why? And they wonder why people do not fucking like My Hero, bro. When you talk to these fans, it's like you're talking to a fucking brick wall, bro. And it's just so stupid, bro. Like, people will say Shigaraki's the best fucking villain in Shonen Jump, but they can't even explain why. Not even properly. I would honestly say a good 90% of the whole entire My Hero fan base does not know what the fuck is going on in the story, bro. And it's honestly sad. And it's just so stupid how these guys will... Like, it's just the gassing, bro. Like, we haven't even seen a real fight. Like, I'm not talking about Deku versus Todoroki. I'm talking about a real... You sit down, you get a big-ass entertaining fight with high stakes. Like, where is the fight in My Hero that's ultimately gonna put other people onto the series? Where are the really detailed moments that are going to make me want to actually invest into the series? Where is the one-on-one -on -one even fight with the battle tactics with quirk on quirk action? Like, you, where is it, bro? And people are gassing the fuck out of it. Like, my hero hasn't even gotten to the good shit, and people are just gassing it. Like, it's literally in the setup phases. Like, what are you guys on, bro, honestly? It just upsets me because it doesn't even feel like My Hero has a real fan base. It just feels like with, with the fan base, you're either smooth-brained or you're just a fucking sellout. To put it accurately, it more or less feels like for every one real My Hero fan, there's just 20 other fucking phony fans, bro. It just, it's so tiring, bro. Like, we really need to stain out in these My Hero streets to do God's work and clean up this shitty-ass fan base, bro. You got the cringe people who just dress up as Midoriya one time and they just hype the shit up. You got the anime onlys that hype the shit up for one season and then they see, oh, this season kind of slow and they fucking bounce. You got those guys who think the My Hero dub is superior. People power scaling My Hero and comparing them to fucking strong ass characters like, oh my god, bro. People who shit out My Hero content every week basically just telling everybody what's going on in the chapter instead of making real content on the bitch. Like, I get that you gotta pay your bills, but at least have some decency, bro. Like, you'll take one fucking panel and then just gas it. Just, like, literally overhype the fuck out of it. Like, can you just, like, not overhype the manga? Can you just like it for what it is? It's so annoying because it feels like this is the only series that gets done like this. And it's so... Fucking, oh my god, it's just so cancerous because it's like the flagship of the Shonen Jump revolution. And people are just spitting on it and they're just taking it for granted. Like such an original idea, fucking concept, artwork, everything that Horikoshi's done is just nothing. It does not fall short of being revolutionary in the slightest. And it just, it, people are just trying to hype it up and make it like Dragon Ball or Naruto in terms of hype. And I don't like it. Because it's not the same, bro. Like, what Naruto was for our generation, that's not what My Hero is. My Hero is something completely different. Naruto was just a coincidence. It was, it put many people onto anime, and it was really just at the right place at the right time. And hopefully you guys see where I'm getting at, because I'm not gassing Naruto in the slightest. 
If you guys actually know me, you would already know how I feel about Naruto. But it just feels like with My Hero, people just try and make it unnatural. Like they try and they're like they, they have this like plateau where they put Goku and Naruto in their heads. And it's like they're trying to just force Midoriya there. And it just does not feel right. Like when people try and put All Might and Goku on the same spectrum, it just really feels forced. I already know people aren't going to understand exactly where I'm coming from and there's probably going to be a lot of dumbasses in the comment section. But the thing is, I really enjoy My Hero and I really do feel like the hype is well received. But everyone is literally just hyping up things that shouldn't be hyped up and they're hyping up the series for the wrong reasons. Like. It just feels like a lot of people don't understand what makes this series good in the first place. And this is also the same issue with Dragon Ball. Everybody hypes Dragon Ball up for the wrong reasons. And they just look at Z and they just hype up the powers. Like, oh, this dude can blow up the planet. Like, there's more to Dragon Ball than dudes blowing up fucking planets, bro. But what makes the Dragon Ball fan base and the My Hero fan base different? In terms of the Dragon Ball fan base... You could really just pick out the Tards. But with My Hero, it just seems like all of the fans are Tards. And it really just sucks how it's like this. Because it's just nothing but fake hype, but there's actually hype that's of that same scale coming from the series. So it's like, why are you faking the hype when you could just be hyping up the stuff that should actually be hyped up? Like, faking the hype? and then using the series as a platform. I just don't know how you guys can actually consider yourselves fans. My hero isn't Naruto. My hero isn't a Marvel movie. My hero is this. It is the brilliant mind of Horikoshi, but with a superhero backbone. My hero literally shares the same style and ideas as his other series like Omagadoki Zoo and Barrage. It is not superhero Naruto. It is not a fucking Marvel movie. It is something completely new and never done before. The concept of superheroes isn't entirely original, but the way he is going about it is new and it's refreshing. It is Marvel inspired, but that does not mean that this is going to be the same stereotypical bullshit that you get from a Marvel movie. Maybe you guys just need to read the manga and just really sit there and think about what you read. This is not the next Naruto, so stop overhyping it and putting it in the same bracket as it. Because they're doing completely different things. Naruto is its own thing and nothing else is going to have the same impact that Naruto had. Because of the time it came to us. Same with Dragon Ball. There will never be another series with the same effect because both of those came at a time where anime wasn't as big in the West. It's just like with Akira. There's not going to be another movie like Akira because of the conditions it was brought to us. This spectrum is its own bracket and My Hero does not belong in that bracket. My Hero is making a new wave. It is not following in any footsteps, but rather it is making its own. And people that are fans of the series should be able to recognize these new footsteps rather than saying, hey, I think Midoriya is a better portrayal of the character that Naruto and Goku are trying to portray. All three of them are the same because they're shown in pro tags. And again, if you've been a sub of mine for a while, you should already know how I feel about everybody labeling all these main characters like they're the same fucking thing when they're really not. It's really just stupid. Like, that whole entire idea of every character being the same out, outside of some cliches is dumb. It's fucking retarded. It's just, it's brainless. Because Midoriya and Goku are not the fucking same. And if you actually read either one of them, you should know that. It's just dumb because it's like when people argue about these characters, it's like they hold them to the standard of what their idea on what a shonen pro tag is. Like, oh, I think Midoriya's a better shonen pro tag than this shonen pro tag. I think this was better because this is what I think a shonen pro tag should be. When that's not the case. I just don't understand why people do this. They are each their own entities and so are their series. Nobody is copying one another unless you're Naruto and everyone is generally doing their own thing. If you don't see the originality in My Hero, I just really suggest that you read the manga 
and think about what you read and be more open-minded about it. And if you're already a My Hero fan and you're watching this video, and you are one of these individuals that do this, that are part of the fan base, just please stop overhyping the fuck out of it. Just like My Hero for what it is and stop cashing out on it. It's just sad how the My Hero fan base is considered one of the worst fan bases. And they're fans of a series that they don't understand. If you really want a better understanding of what My Hero is, just read Omega Doki Zoo, bro. And then look at My Hero. You look at My Hero in such a different way, it's ridiculous. It really won't be the same series you thought it was before.